To create um, a login screen in Thunkable, we need to be able to search through a list. We have um, a spreadsheet that contains all our usernames and passwords. And it's down here in data sources. I've added it and it looks like this. So it's got a list of email addresses with passwords and the person's name. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. But you'll notice uh, right here, I've got a label and a text box and a button. If I go under blocks, what we want to do with your user login is really you want to type in an email address, a password, and push login, and it will log them into the app. But we're not going to do that in this demo. I just want to show you how to search through a list and find that an item exists in that list. So what do I mean by that? So we're going to say when our button is clicked, we want to check to see if and I can find my if statements here, if something's in a list. So I'm going to go ahead and look under list here, and you can see we've got different lists. I'm just going to grab this whole block here. It says, does list A, B, where we have two strings, contain B? If it does, we're going to set our label to yes. And if it doesn't, we're going to set our label to no. So this is our list here. It just has A and B. Let's add another thing to it just for fun. So A, B, and C. And let's drag that list right into here. So does list A, B, C contain B? If it does, change our label to yes. Otherwise, change it to no. Go to design and preview. And I'll just push my button and it says yes, because B is there. Okay, let's give it a different list. Let's give it this list here instead. So we've got one that says Bob and Bill. And we're gonna ask, does the list Bob and Bill contain B? I'm gonna get this old block out of the way. We don't need that right now. Let's check, preview, button says no. Right now, we're not taking any text from our text field. So the list that contains the name Bob and the name Bill doesn't contain B. If I change this to Bill and push run one more time, it'll check the list and find that yes, Bill is in that list. But we don't want a simple list like this. We want to grab our list from our data. So I'm going to throw this over here for just a second. I'm going to go to data sources. Remember, I've added my data source, which is my spreadsheet with users, names, and passwords here by adding, hitting plus, finding my spreadsheet and adding it. In my code, I can go under data sources and I can say a list of values in user data. That's our spreadsheet in sheet one. Our data's in sheet one, in email address. That's where we're going to look. So let's run it now, and we'll have it search for Bill, and it'll tell us, does it find Bill or not? Preview. Button. No, Bill is not in that list. Back to blocks. So what do we want to do? We're not really wanting to check for Bill. We want to check for text our text input, we want to see if the text that our user has typed is one of the email addresses in the list. So let's try it now. We know there's an email address matt at gmail.com. So if I type matt at gmail.com and push our button, it should say yes, it found it in the spreadsheet. And if I type anything else that isn't in the spreadsheet, it'll say no. So what can we do with that? It finds the username, but really we want it to find a username and password. So let's think about that and I'll talk more about it in the next video.